So this is the complex that we're starting with. This is aqueous. It's dissolved in water. this equilibrium situation here. So this complex is green, but this complex, if you add ammonia, enough ammonia to your green nickel uh, water complex, you're going to get this ammonia complex. And it's a nice blue color. Now by adding different reagents, we can cause this equilibrium to shift left or to right in the direction of either the reactant or the product. So it, if it's done correctly, if it works, we should be able to see color changes from green to blue and of course even back again if we want. Now what I'm going to do first is add some ammonia. So I have some aqueous ammonia in my dropper bottle. I'll start spinning a little bit. So I'm going to add this in. You can see a little bit of blue color starting to form. I think you see against the white background. So it's almost a blue-green now. And it actually takes quite a bit. But when we reach a point where we have extra ammonia, the solution actually should be more blue. All right, so did everyone see the, the color change? Now, we can, we can go further than this if we wanted, okay? So I'll just end up using my whole dropper bottle. Okay, so what we've done is just Okay, I have in my other dropper some hydrochloric acid. Okay, I'm going to add that to this flask. What will the hydrochloric acid do? It'll donate protons. It is. And it actually is going to have the effect, it's going to remove some of the ammonia. Okay, it's going to react with that. So if we remove ammonia, which way should the equilibrium shift? Back to the reactant. So let's see if this works. So you might want to keep up here. And we might just speed this up. I have a little bit of more of the concentrated HCl. 
I added quite a bit of ammonia, so we'll just add some of this. You can see it goes back to a pretty light green again. So does anyone have any questions about what we have just done?